Welcome to Farnham Centre for Health. My name is Dr Edward Wernick. I'm a local GP and supporting the Farnham and Crondall patients for their local vaccination service here at the hospital. As you will come from the car park, you will be greeted at the front entrance by one of our friendly volunteers who will show you where the alcohol gel hand rub is. When you will walk through the atrium, there are 10 socially distanced spaces and at the end of that you will find a stairs and lift. We will ask you to use the stairs if possible and keep the lift for those that need to. At the top of the lift and stairs you will find another volunteer who will be able to guide you to the entrance. Hello, I'm one of our volunteer marshals. When you come up to this area we will ask you once again to sanitise your hands, then I will take your name, find your consent form in here, hand it to you and then ask you to wait socially distanced to check into reception. I'm Suzanne Nichols, the Downing Street Practice Manager and also the, one of the operational managers who will be here when you come. A receptionist will greet you and they'll log you into our computer system. Then they'll ask you to go through to our information room where you can complete your form and answer, ask any questions to our healthcare assistant. I'm Hayley, I'm a healthcare assistant and I'm here to help you fill in this form and this is the information to assist you. As you will be aware, this is quite an open plan room and we would ask you to wear appropriate clothing for the weather but also to be able to receive the vaccine. If, however, you need a privacy room for any reason, we have one available. Please ask the marshal and they'll be able to direct you there and one of the vaccinators. So by this point, you'll have been through the information room and completed your pre-consenting questionnaire. You'll be met at the end of the queue by one of our volunteers again, who will help direct you to one of the vaccination stations where you'll be met by one of our healthcare professionals, who will be a doctor, a nurse or physiotherapist at present. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm one of the nurses working at the vaccination site. Before you come and see one of the team giving the vaccines, you'll be asked a few questions. You'll be filling out on the form initially, but we'll just double check the answers with you. You'll be asked whether you've had a vaccination in the last seven days, whether you are currently unwell with a fever, if, you, if you've ever had a serious allergic reaction to any of the ingredients of the COVID-19 vaccine. We have got a list here if you're unsure of those. Have you ever had an unexplained anaphylactic reaction? Are you or could you be pregnant? Are you, have you been involved in any COVID vaccine trials? Are you taking any anticoagulation medicine? This is medicine that will thin the blood. Do you currently have any COVID-19 symptoms? If you've answered no to all these questions, we will give the vaccination. If you've answered yes to any of these questions, we would just want some more information from you. After you've had your immunisation, which will either be AstraZeneca or Pfizer, you will need to have a period of waiting. If it's the Pfizer immunisation, you will need to wait within the building. And we have socially distanced chairs for this reason. There are also clocks up in the room and we will ask you to count the time yourselves. If it's AstraZeneca, you will need to wait 15 minutes before driving off, but you will not need to wait in the actual building itself. Thank you for visiting the local vaccination service. As you will see on your way out, there is clear signage and also the patient flow is one directional. So in theory, you shouldn't be passing any other people, although the hospital is being used by other services. I'm sure you've had a good experience and thank you very much for attending.